Hi, welcome to Cyclop. I'm Brian Smith. Today we're going to talk about hotkeys. Hotkeys is a really cool feature for screwing around with your modulation and having different kind of modulation settings that you can trigger with different keys on your MIDI controller. This is the hotkey button. Uh, we got to turn it on. It's red. And basically that means the lowest octave of my MIDI controller here. I can switch it back and forth here and the different things going on here. If I play something, nothing's happening. There's no modulation or anything. It's a pretty boring preset as usual. And I'm going to play a C sharp way down on the lowest part of the keyboard. And you see I get some modulation here on the on the filter. And uh, you know, that's open there. And then I'm going to go into a D. Some other stuff happening. And so on. And so that's basically, um, I'm just playing these different notes that are out of the, so low they're out of the range. That's a really cool way to, to set things up. I've just got this on the wobble parameter, but I can do this on, on the LFO, the envelopes, the step sequencer, the sound um, parameter, and everything here. So it's pretty cool. And uh, if you figure that out, you've got uh, a lot of stuff to play with. Um, I want to show you something about when uh, a lot of problems people have when they are playing something and here we are on this key and can't hear any note i'm playing some notes on my midi controller can't hear anything well that's usually because if we go into the effects here click on on this our gator is completely off and if you look when i'm playing a, a note it's just channeling through here but there's nothing on here so if i click and drag you can see that it's it's actually on what's cool i can actually Click and uh, I can make some cool stutter kind of effects here and, uh, you know, shoot up the, the tempo here to something like a 64th, something like that. That's kind of cool, just so, so you know, that's uh, that can be a, a kind of a mind screw that you have when you see this thing. And the other thing I want to show you is, um, is how to do the actual, uh, use these key, these hot keys for, for wobbling. Okay, let's say I want to set up my wobbler here. Wobble knob to, um, well, I got it on MIDI Learn. It's always a good thing to do, so I can do this like this. I'll put it on a quarter note here. I'm going to sit on record. I'm just going to hit one note. And um, I'll put this on the on the G here. And, and that's it. Just recorded that as a quarter note wobble. And then I'm going to put this uh, a sixth here and then uh, do the same thing. But this time go on another hotkey and I uh, gotta hit record make sure you do that any key got that recorded go on the next key here I could change these keys with my MIDI controller too but I'm just a little bit too lazy right now oh, that one's already screwed up here I was I want to do that on the on the eight record same thing now you get the idea and then I want to do another one do this on this one and I'll shoot this up to uh, 12 for example put the record on okay okay what I'm doing here is just uh, now I can I can play around with these so that's pretty cool I can do a, a key switchable wobble bass here just make sure your key uh, key button here is is, is on you know the, the hot key button and you can do this for any of this stuff here. In fact, if you look around, you've got a lot of effects that will actually do hot keying. And if you can figure this out, you've got a lot figured out with uh, Cyclops. So that's pretty cool. I hope, uh, I hope that helps. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I've got real problems with my score here. I'm, I'm kind of down. And I'm going to do this, so enjoy yourself.